Welcome back to the Maniacal Mini. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe. Here we go. Okay, everybody, we are celebrating Orktober and painting the Orokama Crusher. This is the first part of a two-part series, so we are just focusing on the rider today, and we will be doing the base and Crusher in the next video. As you may have noticed, the paints being used will flash on the top left corner, but I will be here to talk pointers and providing some filter. Okay, so we already covered the skin in Wa Flesh, so we are doing a reverse zenithal highlight of Juchi Violet from the bottom up just to give that dark undertone to the skin. Okay, so we are gonna come through from the top with thin down rack heart flesh. Um, this is just going to give us that pale overtone to the green underneath it. Um, we wanna keep it nice and thin so that we can still show through with that and we will come through later with some more touches on the skin. Now we are coming through with chainmail silver. This is going to be for the chainmail on his shoulders as well as the chain that connects him to the crusher. And we will be using bright bronze from Vallejo Green Air as all of the armor. Since that bronze is so bright, we are going to come through with Kinaptic Armor Shade all over everything that we touched up. We want to give it that dirty metal look. And just to reinforce some highlights, we are bringing in Brass Scorpion from Citadel, and that is going to serve as the main highlight on our armor. Switching over to the cloth, we are bringing in Corn Red, nice deep dark scarlety red. Um, this is going to allow us to contrast very nicely with the cold, cool undertones of the skin. But just to give that red a little contrast of its own, we are bringing in Jerchi Violet again, and this is going to go over all of the cloth. Moving into the cloth highlight, we are bringing in Mephiston Red from Citadel. We do need to keep in mind that this guy will sit at an angle on the Crusher, so when we place our highlights, we do need to be extra careful so that it doesn't look awkward when he's sitting on there. We are going to be using Rhinox Hide to base out all of our bone, leather, and wood on the model. This is great for all three of those. Um, it gives a nice, deep, rich brown um, to the undertones of everything that we're about to be working on. First thing that we're going to focus on is highlighting the bone. So starting with two coats of Xandri Dust, we are going to leave the Rhinox hide in the deepest recesses, working up when we do our brush strokes. Um, because we want to the lightest parts to be focused up at the top.
Moving into more gas bone now, this is our second highlight on our skulls and bones. This is where we're going to start to see some more of the definition. We want to leave um, enough of the Zandri dust and the Rhinox hide that we already had down before while continuing to work up to reinforce those lights. And our final highlight will be Ushabti bone. This is just for the most prominent tops and tips of all of our bone pieces, um, just to give it that little extra pushover. Next, we're going to be moving on to the leather, starting with steel lesion drab. Leather can be a little bit tricky, but the best way I've found to do it is to leave enough rhinox hide between the straps to establish definition early. We're only going to be popping on one more highlight onto this leather, that is going to be XV88 from Citadel. So I want to establish some more definition in the face. We are going to be mixing Rackarth Flesh and Cadian Flesh Tone, and we are just going to be picking out all of the raised areas on the face, so the brows, the top of the ears, the lip, and anywhere else that we can find. Moving on to the two weapons that he has, that is the spearhead and the sword, they are both going to be the Rune Lord Brass. Um, this might take two coats, um, I just noticed that it didn't um, cover very well on the first one, so I did do an extra pass um, just to reinforce the metallic. And we're going to be coating those weapons with Canaptic Armor Shade as well. We are just bringing back in Chainmail Silver from Vallejo Game Air to do a little bit of touch-up. Moving on to the wood now, we are just going to dry brush very lightly some sylvaneth bark. This is going to be for the handle of the piece right here. We're also going to use a little bit of it on the horns. And a little bit of rack white dry brush for the tips of the horns. Okay, so we're going to be moving into our enamels now. Um, we are bringing in moss deposit first. This is going to be used for the wood and the horns, um, just for some discoloration and a little bit of rot. Streaking grime is going to coat everything on the model that is not a metallic. And to remove that streak and grime, we are just using a Q-tip that has been soaked down with some mineral spirits. We are going very lightly, we do not want to work any of this paint that we have worked hard to put down back off the model. Moving on to the metallics now, all of our metallics are going to be coated in rust streaks from AK Interactive. And instead of using mineral spirits for this one, we are just taking a dry Q-tip and very, very lightly feathering it back off the model. Um, we want to leave a lot of that rust and that modeled down um, look to the armor, so that's how we're going to achieve that. Now we are going to be dropping some rust deposits into the areas around the bolts. Um, they are all over the armor, the headpiece that you can see right here. Um, as well as some parts on the chain. This just gives it a little bit more of a discolored rust, um, a little bit more orangey than the rust streaks did. 
we are going to start putting down some patina. So we are doing nihilic oxide from Citadel. This is just going to be in random pooling spots all over the arm. And bringing in Typhus Corrosion for the armor and the chain, we are just using this for a little bit of extra texture as well as that discoloration. And our final touch is Blood for the Blood God. This is going to be all over the mouth as well as some random spattering all over the armor and the weapon. That's about to be it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you enjoyed this, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe so that we can continue to bring you more content like this one. Paint with purpose, build with confidence, think maniacally. I'm out.